Okay, in this video we will put together an ordered list and an unordered list. So I will jump right in. Putty here. Uh, I think maybe this page is getting a little crowded if we look at it. Uh, that's page. So far where we are, and I, I don't really see any a nice place in there. I guess we could put it. Yeah, let's just put it on right on this home page. We'll put it right there. So back to putty. And I will jump in here. Let's see where we want to put this. Before the image, so that the image doesn't take over. So let's put it right here. I'll put in, oops, an ordered list. Starts with OL, element. And then what I'm going to do, and it's going to have a closing element, so I'll just put that in there so I don't forget it. And then I'll do this. Move it over. I left the space up there so I could do this. Okay, then I'll indent a little bit. And so we will have the list items in as uh, children of the ordered list. So uh, li. Item one, and then we'll close the li. So those are li's that I'm putting in there. Then li. Item two. close this list item and I'll put a third one in there. You put as many items as you want in a list. Listen, it's unlimited. I'm just putting three because that's enough. Okay, and close that one. Oh, almost forgot the LI. All right, let's write it out. And we'll jump back at the to the browser here. And do a refresh and see what happens. And you see my item, my ordered list here. Um, I typed in item one, item two, item three. It's the nature of an ordered list that it is numbered. So an ordered list is a numbered list. Right? And so what's the difference between an ordered list and an unordered list? An unordered list is uh, like a bulleted list. So putty. The only thing I have to do to change this into an unordered list is change that O to a U. Then I have an unordered list. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. Oh, let me change you to the browser before I do anything. And we'll refresh. And so we have a bulleted list. So that's ordered list, unordered list. Those are pretty straightforward. Uh, they, they can be useful in, in a number of ways. Uh, as has been the case with, with so many of these things, it's all modifiable through CSS. So I can change what those bullets look like. Uh, I can remove them all together, which is an interesting uh, maneuver to make, to have an unordered list with no bullets in front of it. I can actually even 
turn the list on its side so that horizontally it reads item one, item two, item three. Um, I maybe have that at the top of my page. And then if those items happen to be links, so we use the anchor element um, in this uh, as a list item. So if my list item here, if I put an, an anchor element here, then it would be a clickable link. So to do that, I would do something like moving along these lines. I'll show you the general idea here. We would then nest the anchor element right inside the list item element, right? So that the child of the list item, the first item, is a link itself. And remember, we're going to need the href equals. And the double quotes, we don't want to forget. And that closes that. And then I would say, I would make item one my clickable text. So then I would want to close the anchor. All right, and then maybe we're going to need some sort of address here and we're in our index right so i could for instance go into the sys101 folder for instance and i don't know which one i'm working off here though boys oh i'm not uh, I'm on my main index page. Oh, you know what I'll do? Uh, my link will be http colon slash slash www.google.com. Okay, and I've got the close quote there already, right? So I wouldn't forget it. So I'm going to link item one is going to become, so let's just say what it actually is. So people know when they're about to click on this link, they're going to go to Google. So I made my clickable link to a page outside of uh, public, H, uh, public underscore HTML. So outside of Copeland altogether, I went all the way to Google. So we can link to any page. All right, so let's just give that a shot and see if I typed everything right. Come back here. So item one now, oh, let me change to the browser. Item one now should be, it should read Google. And when I click it, it should be clickable. When I click it, we should get the Google uh, home search homepage search. All right, so let's refresh. It reads Google. And if I click it, it goes to Google. Okay. So is there anything else I want to say here? Buddy, I want to take one more peek at this before we go away from it, since this is a very short one, very short video. So remember this, uh, the clickable text is, is right here and, and none of this, none of this shows in the browser window, right? That's just the location to which, where which a page that we want to open lives, right? And so it can be inside the, um, the, the server that we're working on or outside of it. It can be anywhere, right? This is the clickable text. Then I closed the anchor. So now this is the link element. And it is a list item, All right? That's one of them. I could then put another one in here, in this space, in the content here. So I'm nest, here we are nesting again, like I mentioned uh, in the last video. I'm nesting 
an anchor tag inside of a list item which is nested itself inside of an ordered list which is in turn nested inside of the body which is nested inside of HTML right so HTML, HTML is like the, the great great grandfather <laughs> And the body is, uh, would be the great-grandfather. And then the grandfather. And then the father. <laughs> so if we want to continue down that path, something like that is what's going on. So that's ordered list and list item. They're very useful. I don't know. We may not use them in the form that they are um, provided by default, but they're very useful for instance, to have a list of, of, of anchors, uh, a list of links. And the fact that they can be modified with CSS um, in ways that you probably can't imagine uh, makes them very useful. So that's something maybe we'll do as we move forward. We'll do some, some modifications to those items, but that's how they're used. List item and okay. So we did ordered list unordered list we know what the list item element is it, it doesn't have a use it should be used as a child to either the ordered list or the unordered list so list item we really shouldn't be using it without having it wrapped up in either an ordered list or an unordered list so they're not independent they're supposed to have a, a, a parent <laughs> the parent should be ordered list or unordered list. And we also saw another use of nesting. And we saw that we've actually been nesting for quite some time. Not only did we nest an anchor here, a link, but the reality of the matter is we've been nesting everything inside of the body and everything in the page inside of HTML. So there's been lots of nesting going on, and, and this nesting of elements can go further and further. Right? And we'll explore that more as we move forward. So that's it for this one. God, I got a short one in there for you. <laughs>